Tilly Luke is starting his stream with his electorate. Ele <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Luke is starting his stream with his electrolyte powder. Brought to you by potassium. How about ambient. <laughs> what is it with me? Station crew missions, moon train, early Easter egg hunt. It's early because it's not Easter yet. Let's fly a passenger plane real quick. Which one do I want? It's one of the Quinton planes. There's like 40 of them. Please load the passengers, please. So we're just gonna get going straight over to the island runway. Nice and easy. Whoa, whoa, I said nice and easy. There we go, more like that. Just gonna kind of fly off the cliff. All right, get lined up, get lined up. Thankfully, this thing has a nice, slow landing speed. There we go. Flare at the end. Hey, that was like a legit landing, considering all of our craziness. Let's pretend we had a crosswind, okay? Oh, you know what? We need to hire some Kerbals before I can do this. Himdard. Very courageous. And very not stupid. Oh my god. We have to hire Elbow, though. <laughs> Elbow. And Kimdard. <laughs> I love this game. Elbow has to go. Five, six, here we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I wonder what that is. See, I have planet shine, so there's there's something up there, but I don't know what it is. No, I don't want to make it look like we're in a fishbowl. I want to go the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just enjoy this game is really when, what it comes down to. Very nice. How's it going in there, Elbow? He's our POV character for this, for this stream. All right, so they're ahead of me, so I actually need to not get um, quite as high. Why are we in target? You have to be in orbit mode. Stop, stop doing that. There we go. Everything went as planned, except we are not quite pointing at our maneuver marker. Ever so slightly, burn ever so slightly north. Reduce the relative inclination here. Kind of managing a lot of things here. I'm looking at the time to apoaps and the um, the descending node and the uh, periaps. We don't want to run out of time to get into orbit either. Right, so we we launched a little bit late, mostly because I was dilly dilly dallying. Is if that dawdling, d doodling. I like howdy. I wish more people greeted with howdy. I learned Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> there was no X button and you had to throttle down manually. <laughs> or there was no Z button and you had to throttle up manually. I guess there was always an X button. Kerbals land on their heads. That's just how it goes. Let's um, reverse thrust a little bit so we don't crash into this. Left and down and let's get pointed the right way. I should have brought some more stuff up. I forgot to bring my containers and things. That'll have to be another mission. Um, what I'd like to do is open these cargo bay doors, Hal. And I'm not going to use staging, I'm just going to activate the engine here. Give it a little bit of thrust, there we go. And let's go dock, or go to dock. Let's go grab. Here's something, if I hold shift and W and then press space, he jumps in that direction. Maybe everyone knows that, but when I first learned that I was so excited. Now the thing about Maypole Space Station is that there's no escape. Like, you can't come home from Maypole Space Station. RCS on, SAS on. Some reverse thrust, please. Is it working? Not working. Do I have no monopropellant? What's going on? I have plenty of monopropellant. Do I have caps lock on? What's happening? Oh, these are turned off. Okay, these are turned off. Let's let's turn that on. That's because um, that last docking last time was really, really tough. This can stay in orbit. I mean, it's useful. Doesn't need to be right next to me. We might be able to use that later. Off it goes at three frames a second. I still feel weird not playing with life support. I used to always play with tech life support. I can't see a thing. Fun to be in space. I sp for There've been hours and hours of this career that I didn't get to launch anything. All right, Maypole Station, here we go. There's our moon encounter. Now let's, let's focus on the moon. Precise node, I love precise node. We're going for a polar orbit. Let's not do a collision course because there's Kerbals on this. I kind of like having a little bit of a time limit for um, how often I can launch, but 
I've done a week, and the result of a week is that when it's time for a launch window, everything's a mad scramble and I have to plan out way too much. Oh, we're finally in a moon train. We're finally doing the moon train, guys. Let's have some moon train music. Stow the solar panels and the radiators. Two, one. There we go. Look at this, working as intended. It still thinks our current delta V is zero. So while we're doing this, I'll talk about these modules. This is, what did I call this? I forget what I called, but this is a science lander. Got all of the necessities. This is my, this is, this is forehead man, the space tug. This is the Maypole station core, nice docking adapter, and tanks for watching the fuel tank. And I forget if I even named this little probe, it's got a uh, moon relay mission to do. There's still one other craft that I had intended to send. I have not launched it yet. A larger lander that, that can land eight Kerbals on the moon. First of all, I don't need it yet, because uh, th there's no contract that actually requires its existence. This Maypole is about to become the Kerbin space station, satisfying the, the contract pack, bases and stations contract pack requirements for a Kerbin space station. And I don't want it to be my Kerbin space station. This is the moon space station, so if if this is in orbit long enough to become the Kerbin space station, I'm going to get follow-up missions that I won't want to do because I want to send it to the moon. So, as usual, a lot of the career for me is about trying to keep my contracts from getting confused and keep me from getting confused about them. Be more efficient to burn a little bit further. But I don't want our Kerbals to have an engine failure, even though I don't I don't have that mod. We're not going to have an engine failure, but... Oh yeah, Hallery's still out there. That's what we can do with one of those space probes. See, before I got Contract Configurator, I accepted all these um, rescue missions. And then I got Contract Configurator and the rescue missions disappeared, but the Kerbals didn't. <laughs> so I have to go get Hallery. Looks pretty polar to me. This brings me back to my clogging days. Deming, Tragen, Arizon, Bill, Jeb, Bob, Aller, Elbow. Start time accelerating to solve my problem. Now I've turned up the brightness. It looks kind of funky, but I actually like how it looks. Here we go. Oh, look at that beautiful picture, F1. How are you guys doing? No one's flying this, by the way. This is entirely automated. <laughs> or being flown by mission control in real time. What's our inclination right now? 89.94, how's that for eyeballing it? We coming over the top of the moon now. I love polar moon orbits. Cause ScanSat has a KSP to entry. Like it's the freaking 21st century. Contract complete, what is my contract? Launch the curb and state, oh no. I got it anyway. After all that, I even planned it out. Well, I got rewards for my curb and space station. Oh, this is good music. All right, turn off the contracts. Contracts, this is the red tape. This is we, We're not here for contracts. I mean, contracts are the end-all be-all of the space program, and we are answerable to our clients. Got some money for building the space station that is now left. Gosh, this is pretty. Let's just have a flyby. There we go. Yeah, cinematic moments as it flies by. <laughs> I'm just playing with the camera now using the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. Whee! This is how people do it. There we go. That's how people... Wow. That's hard. Okay, I'm gonna stop making me really dizzy. <laughs> My slang is horrible, by the way. Like, 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 I just, like, never know what anyone is saying. A pair of panthers. A pair of panthers picked a parcel of pecker, peckled pickers. Whoop, that was close. I almost tapped my tail on the ground. All right, we're up, and we're accelerating. All right, let's 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 kill the flaps now. I'm not going anywhere in particular at the moment. Incidentally, are we going to clear the mountains? I think we're going to clear the mountains. You can always just retract the gear, and then we definitely come to a stop. That's, that's something I'll add in the final design, is a ladder, because right now, if she gets out, perhaps, perhaps like this, these are aliens. They're invading the whole Kerbal solar system. And maybe someday I'll do a career with um, uh, extraplanetary launch pads. 
where the Kerbals arrive with with the whole tech tree and interstellar and whatever unlocked, but just in the interplanetary mothership. And they arrive at like one of the, the gas giants in, in a big solar system I've never seen before. And they have to explore it completely from scratch. And like, I don't know what science would be for. Science would have to get converted into something. We basically, we never go to any of the, we just pretend that the Kerbal Space Center doesn't exist. And we just have to colonize the system from the one mothership and resources and extraplanetary launch pads. See, these are the things I fantasize about. Maybe in 15 years. Anyway, good night.